Well, hello. Please get ready, get prepared, hold on to your pockets, your seats, your hats, all of those things that might fall off your body because I have an announcement, which is that I am about to become very famous. My roommate and wonderful, talented person and friend that I know um, is writing and starring in a new web series, and on Monday, I got to be an extra in that series. So you'll probably see like at least this part of my face, maybe even half of my face in some of these shots. I was girl at the bar and uh, I got to be her fangirl while she was a famous pop star. Um, so I felt very famous myself and it was a wonderful experience and so I decided that I would write about um, other extras out there in the world. I mean. When I watch television, I don't ever notice them, but I'm sure someone does. And so if you are an extra, here's a fictional person who sometimes thinks about you. It's called Three Minutes, and it goes like this. At work, she sets a timer for three minutes and goes into the bathroom at the back, where the soap is rarely refilled and the toilet paper is rarely refilled, and where someone shoved three crates, three crates of baseball caps with the company's logo into the corner long before she worked there. She pulls the crates to the window and stands to stare at the city stretching before her. People with shopping bags and big hats and the way the rain paints pictures of flying saucers in the puddles. When, when she gets home, she eats alone, watching television on mute and watching the extras in half focus, order coffee from named characters and carry on their imagined conversations. She heard from her childhood best friend, whose cousin was an extra on Degrassi, that all the background actors are told to say peas and carrots or out strawberries over and over to make it look like they're talking. And that's what she looks for now. The secret code that people are told to whisper when their problems are too big for a television screen and can't be solved in the space of a three-minute background scene. So that's the uh, little story titled Three Minutes. Uh, thank you so much for watching.